Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from. We are very grateful but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. A Ugandans roast Museveni over paraded fake witness. And once again thanks for joining us but let's take a quick look into some of these details. Ugandans have taken to social media to ridicule President Yoweri Museven following his presentation of a false victim of the deadly Kalungu Machelt wielding bandits led by a one notorious criminal known as Chidawalime. Uh, in the testimony featured during the televised address on COVID, the said victim who disguised as a nurse recounts her deadly encounter with the Chidawalime group, which is said to have raided her home on the New Year's Eve of 2018. The woman who disguises the character and names of the real victim postures are Nachamba De and narrates her ordeal. When the men broke into my house, I rang my immediate neighbors who alerted the area police, recounted the imposter. Police took long to respond but at least they turned up. At the time my attacker Chidawalime had told me to undress so that he rapes me, uh, she added in her narrations, and she, however, claims that the criminal was ionically merciful enough to grant her time at least to wash her feet. And he told me to undress and I told him I'm unclean and I needed to refresh. He agreed and told me to turn before he took my pictures with his phone. That's when police emerged and started firing bullets. That's what she claims. Uh, just as case was with the border border cyclist saga in the Gen general katumba shooting saga where one masqueraded to have rescued the general until the real good samaritan surfaced it has turned out that the woman paraded by m7 was a false identity and a total imposter ugandans have replicated media stories of the real victim of the kalungu machete attack and it turns out that the president dealt with the wrong person. No wonder he even went on to brag about how he elevated her status and incorporated her into the nursing department of the Special Forces Command. Wow, that's Uganda. People come out taking the position of other people by giving in false information that it was them who were in the scenario. The same applied to the General Katumba incident where the border border cyclist helped him, took him to the hospital, which was, that was Malcolm, and afterwards left. So when he praised and thanked the border border guy for saving his life, another border border guy who wasn't the real one, the wrong one came out saying he was the one and he was saying his border border had been gotten loan and he has to pay the money of the lady. Uh, and the real good Samaritan came out saying, no, it wasn't him. It was me who did it. And why would someone come out and be in the image of another different person who he is not? So this is the same incident where a lady has come out to give a testimony, which is a fake one. She went to Kaguta Museven and Museven went out to brag about that. Situation, how he was able to handle it and how the thieves were handled in a very good way but all they were false they were false uh, i should say they were false test ones and they were not true the red the lady wasn't real so we are asking ourselves what he's gonna do to the lady because he already gave him a post in the special force command where she is in the health team we don't know what's coming up next but well there is it for now but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates